In this question, it's given that A, B, C, D and E, F are three parallel lines. Okay. And Y is 2, Z. So Y and Z are two angles. You can see this is Y here. This is Z here. So Y and Z are in the ratio 3 is to 7. You have to find the value of this angle X. Okay. So let's solve this question. So if Y is Z, uh, Y is 2, Z is 3 is to 7. So first of all, you, see, you can see that this angle is also Y because this is vertically opposite angle. So hence, if I name this point O, so let's say angle POC is equal to angle QOD, QOD, which is actually equal to Y. Okay. Now Y plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. Yeah. So approach to such problems is one is the given fact. Now that is 3 to 7. Another thing is how can we relate, you know, these two y and z. So uh, another uh, relation is y plus z is 180 degree. Why? Because uh, adjacent angle, adjacent angles, right, are supplementary in parallel lines. So adjacent angles are supplementary, you know, uh, in, along a transversal, you know, that the y and z are adjacent angles and then y plus z should be 180 degrees. Now, from the given fact, we know that y upon z is 3 by 7. So, what can I say about y? Can I not write this as y is 3 by 7 z? This is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is, let's say, y is equal to 3x. No, not x. So, x is being used here. So, let's say 3k and z is equal to 7k. This is how many people also try uh, substituting like this but then I prefer this method so y is equal to 3 by 7 z now this you name it as 1 and this you name it as 2 so using 1 and 2 what do we get so I can replace y this y I can replace no so by what by this so hence I can write 3 upon 7 z plus z is 180 degrees Right, so hence if you take LCM, you will you'll get 3z plus 7z divided by 7 is 180 degrees. So this implies 10 by 7z is equal to 180 degrees. So what is z, guys? z will be 180 degrees into 7 upon 10. Right, so it is. 126 degrees okay so what is um, z z comes out to be uh, 126 degrees okay now what so if z is 126 degrees that means what now see this uh, or let me just do it here right so now we can say a b is parallel to e f also it's given that means angle A, let me call this point as uh, M and N. So angle A, M, A, M, N is equal to angle A, N, M. And why so? This is because alternate interior angles are equal. Okay. So what is AMN guys? AMN is nothing but X. And what is ANM? A, oh, I'm sorry. This should not be AMN and MNFNM. So my, my bad, this is FNM, FNM, right? AMN and F, FNM. So hence, this is nothing but X is equal to Y. Sorry, not Y, X is equal to Z. And we found out that Z was 126 degrees. So hence, x also is 126 degrees and that should be the answer okay